Here we go. Ready? Oh, he's better than me. Yeah. mistake, but after I beat the crap out of this thing with a hammer and tore it all apart, there's nothing you can do. Except put it back together the right way. You know, uh, this thing's going to be critiqued at a museum. And I don't really mind people going to, people that will be critiquing proportions, you know, curves, pediment style, door style, you know, all like the different styles of this piece of Chippendale furniture. But, when it comes to my workmanship, I really do take it pretty serious, and I don't want, well, I don't mind people critiquing my, my craftsmanship, but it's got to be dead on, you know. I'm, the best critique I can hopefully get is that, you know what, he did a nice job, but, you know what I mean? His workmanship is great, but, you know, and then we'll just go on to a whole bunch of different topics that, you know, that's what these people do. They split hairs about, you know, particular styles and particular things about the pigeonhole assembly and the curves and the feet and the pediment and it's just endless, you know, because it's uh it's people's opinions and interpretations and, and I got thick enough skin where I can handle that. But, you know, I wanna make sure that when I go, that's the best that it could possibly be coming from my two hands, you know. So that's why I took this whole thing apart. And I don't even care. Whatever. So today I worked till about 10 o'clock last night, 10.30, I put about 13 good hours in yesterday. <laughs> and I got about 13 or 14 hours to go today, but that's okay. Um, so I'm just going to put this thing together. I just thought you might like to see that it's uh, completely taken apart. You know, all the pieces are everywhere. And uh, it's really not that bad. So, you know, after I threw up and got really depressed yesterday, you know, Thank God, thank God, I didn't just beat this thing with a hammer. Because it's light enough now where I can pick it up like the Hulk and just pitch it through my window. But, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Just be nice. It's okay. Just rub it. Touch it. You know, just deal with it. So, no problem. By the end of today, the next time I shoot this podcast, you're going to see why I decided to beat this thing with a hammer and tear it all apart and, and do it the right way. You know, I really could have just... Mickey Mouse did and put a bunch of little pieces in there to try to flush it out and it really would have looked like crap. And I just don't do that type of stuff. I'd rather rip it apart and rebuild it, you know? So, that's my life, you know? That's okay with me. Alright, I'm just going to put Muddy Waters back on, try to chill out. You know what I mean? It's crazy looking though, huh? Well, I don't know, man. It's been, uh... Another 12 hour day, I think. 7 o'clock. We got another couple hours to go. Doesn't look like much, huh? That's alright. Check this out. Just because I want you guys to feel a little bit better, I want me to feel a little bit better. You know? It was pretty violent knocking this thing apart, but there was really no other way to do it. But this should brighten my evening. Ready? Alright. So, I'm just going to put the upper case back on. Where it belongs. This thing is heavy too, boy. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. than it was because this box was already built. Bam! Huh? That's pretty sweet. Sweet! Huh? I gotta stick all the little drawers in there. 
Well, I'll get a close-up view. I feel so bad about it. Because it was tough, man. But it's okay. I think these ones go over here. see the detail. You, you're going to be proud of me. You guys are going to be proud of me that I actually did this. I'm not proud that I made the mistake, but at least that I fixed it correctly. And you know what? I don't care if you guys are proud of me or not. I am. <laughs> I'm happy that I did it. I can sleep today. Alrighty. Huh? Those drawers look pretty sweet. I'll stick these ones in. These ones are a little tight, I think. They just have to be refit. You know, something has to give. Not too bad, just got to be fit just a little bit. Probably right in the way, huh? Hang on. Hang on, everybody. See, I just got to plane the back of that one just, just a schmidgen. I had a problem on this side of the uh, pigeon hole assembly. And I, it, it drove me mental. But hopefully this will be all right. I'm going to show you guys why I did this. Ta-da! All right. The reason why I had to do that, right, is because none of this stuff was in an even plane and it really looked like crap especially when you look at the top case I mean this top case is sweet so I'm just gonna grab the oh, I'm running out of cord but you can see how this is all in an even plane right here it's nice you know all of this and the bottom wasn't so here this is what I agonized over this is why I destroyed it Can you see? All right here. See how that's nice and flush now? This is nice and flush. All this stuff over here is flush. And the reveal on the bottom, you know, is going to be just like that. I mean, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the drawer stops in the back, and then I'm going to refit all of it. But I think it's pretty good. You know? This side over here, I'm having a little bit of a problem right in here so this is good and this is a little heavy right here I need to scrape that down about 316 it's not even but it's a lot less than what it would have been you know and you can see that this is now in a really nice even plane and I'm happy about it so Dave Trey ladies and gentlemen all my peeps out there and teach chisel land <laughs> that must not be a nice place to be teach chisel land well you saw me do it I'm, I'm at a loss of words. I'm trying to say something cool that off, but I'm not that cool. What do you guys think of Michelle and Audra? They're pretty cool, huh? And Al. The show's taking off, guys. You know, we're really just plugging along. But anyways, you can see. Huh? I always tell you to save the wood, and I didn't. You know how like, I broke the tips of these off? It was okay because between the, the, the six valances, I mean uh, pigeonhole dividers, I didn't trash three of them. And I was just lucky enough that it was like the middle end and the far end one. So that was good. All I needed to do was retrace them. And then I just cut, I cut the primary wood and then I have a piece of secondary wood. Although it's the same exact piece of wood. You know, in another two weeks, all this whole pigeonhole assembly will oxidize and it was like it never even happened. You know? Um, Really, it would be like it never happened. If I didn't film this and show you guys my total mistake, you know, nobody ever would have known. And it didn't mess up the integrity. It wasn't like it was joinery, you know. It was just aesthetically not correct. And that's okay. A little worse for the wear, though, I got to tell you. So, 
I'm just gonna I gotta get to doing these and then I have to make all the I have to shape these, round them over, put them in place, put the miter on and make sure that these are really nice as well before I start the valances. So I probably have another 20 hours to fix that thing. So I worked a lot of hours Tuesday, Wednesday, or well, today's Wednesday, Tuesday and Wednesday. I probably put in, you know, uh, 25 hours, 26 hours in the last two days. <sighs> That's okay, man. I'd rather have it right than not right. Okay, I'm just babbling a lot. Whatever. It's looking good, though. Well, I think I'm going to fire up a cigar, put the radio back on. And keep plugging along, fellas. That really sucked. It did. <laughs> I need some sleep. But tomorrow I can't uh, do this, so I gotta do it today. Alright, man.